Hey guys, this is Alan from Tangora, and I just wanted to show you guys a nice bonus video of actually how to install Elixir. So I've gotten quite a few people talking to me, asking me, Alan, Elixir sounds amazing, but how do I actually install it? So I'm going to show you guys that today, and this video is going to be how to install on Windows. So if we go to elixirlang or sorry, elixir-lang.org slash install. They give you all the different distributions that they uh, support. And I'm running this on Windows. So if I go to Windows, it's going to take me to the installer or using Chocolatey. I don't have Chocolatey installed, so I'm just going to download the installer. Offline, I've actually already installed, or sorry, I've already downloaded the uh, web setup. So the great thing about this web setup is that um, it will actually get the latest versions of both Elixir and Erlang. So if you guys remember, the very first video I output uh, was actually uh, explained a little bit that Elixir is built upon Erlang. So let's go ahead. Let's just go ahead and get started. So I want to make sure we click yes. Next, we want to choose the latest version, which at this point is 181. And then click next. And go ahead. Let's go ahead and let's install Erlang too. And let's include the 64-bit version because I'm running on 64-bit Windows. If you're running on 32-bit Windows, then you should choose the 32-bit option. Since I'm running on 64-bit, I'm going to choose 64-bit. So it's going to go ahead and actually download and install Erlang along with Windows. Sorry, along with Elixir for us. So this first one is Erlang, Windows 64, 21.1. As you can see, it downloads it from the internet. Great. Now, after we have downloaded the Erlang installation, as you can see, it automatically starts up for us. It looks like I already have the Microsoft DIL files, so I don't need to worry about that. Of course, I want to install Erlang and the development. As you can see, it's required and the associations, which is not a big deal. And let's go ahead and let's install the Erlang documentation anyway, just in case. So I'm going to click Next. And this installs it to C program files Erlang 10. That's fine. Next. And this is also going to install it into our start menu. Not a big deal. Install. It's going to install for us. Great. Now that our installation is complete, let's go ahead and let's close this. And great, it already starts to install Elixir for us. Don't need to worry about anything. So far, this is quite a painless installation, right? Great. So let's go ahead, let's click yes for this one. And we need to tell it where Erlang is. And remember, this is the same as before. So click Next. And this is fine for us. Put it into Program Files. Next. In the Start menu. Perfect. Next. We want to make sure that we check all these, OK? That we add the scripts and the binaries to our path. Click Next. And everything looks good. So let's go ahead and let's click Install. Perfect. So we click finish. And now we have Elixir installed, but we can go ahead, let's check that out. CMD. And then let's open CMD. So now we should be able to check the version of Elixir. Hmm. 
let's try this. Perfect, 181 with version with OTP 20, exactly what we need. So again, uh, I'm Alan with Plangora, and I'm going to be adding more and more of these kind of bonus videos as we go along. And so please subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for next time. Thanks.